Okay, so as you guys know, today is still February 6th, and I told you that I was going to make the attribution video and more. So what you start off in is your YouTube studio. And over here on the left, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but we'll start off with the audio library. And sorry if my computer is a little slow today. Okay, so on this list, I know it's kind of hard to see because it's kind of small, but I want you guys to be able to see the whole screen. Over here on license type, it says YouTube audio library license. You can use this audio track in any of your videos, including videos that you monetize. No attribution is required. Okay, so if you click on the details, it tells you the same thing about where you can use the audio. And it says YouTube may create the artist and link the audio library from your video. You may not make available, distribute, or perform the music files from this library separately from videos and other content into which you have incorporated these music files. And the example it gave is standalone distribution of these files is not permitted. Okay, so these are, well, there's a pages and pages of uh, songs and of artists that you can use. And over here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, you can download. Okay, so over to the right. Um, it downloads onto your computer and then the problem is, is that you have to find it. Now, if you were to do uh, attribution required here at the bottom, then you can see where the CC comes up for the license type. And it says Creative Commons Attribution 4.0. You can use this audio track in any of your videos, including videos that you monetize. However, you must include attribution information in your video description. So if you click View Details, then it gives you this example. Okay, so I've never clicked Details, so I'll just go over this and I'll read it, starting from the top. Creative Commons Attribution 4.0. You can use this audio track in any of your videos, including videos that you monetize. However, you must include the following information in your video description. So they make sure that you guys are fully aware of that. And then they give you an example. Mary Go, Silent Film, Light by Kevin McLeod is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 license. And then it has a link. And it says creativecommons.org slash license slash buy slash 4.0. So this information hopefully will come up when you do that. At the bottom it says YouTube may also credit the artist and link the audio library from your video. Please note that the licenses attribution requires requirements. Sorry about that. Um, it It's almost just about as small as what you guys are seeing here, but um, so we'll start over. Please note that the licenses attribution requirements also apply if you use this audio track in videos outside of YouTube. Okay. And so what it looks like here is that you actually can copy this and then you would take this and put this in your description box. Okay, so um, I'm going to take a guess after you copy that, that you would go over to, let's go back to content. And then you see how you have your videos. So um, I'm going to choose something that was more recent. Okay, that was yesterday. And then you highlight this little pencil, click details. And then my assumption is that you would copy that and put this into uh, the box. Okay, so the thing is, you will have to upload the video first because so far as I know, you cannot access audio library from the YouTube studio app 
or from the YouTube app. So you would have to wait until it uploads and then come and paste that information here. Now, I'm also gonna take a guess that down here at the bottom, you click show more, and all the way down here at license, that you will also have to change that to Creative Commons Attribution here. And when you click on it, as you can see, it doesn't give you any other options, but the save just highlight it. So then I think you will just save all the changes that you made and then you will be good to go. Okay. So that was the first thing was, um, attributions. And I do want to discard this. I don't want to save that. Okay. So next on the list is editor. Okay. So you're back. As you can see in the content page, sorry about that, you guys, I'm losing my voice today. Um, you know I already recorded my workout, but you go here to details again, and on the left-hand side, you go to editor. And then right here, you have audio. And this is what I was trying to explain in the workout video. So like my whole walk and talk, um, I guess you can say topic today, was YouTube, the music, the copywriting, stuff like that. And I had something else planned, but I decided to just do that tomorrow. Okay, so what you can see here is uh, to the right, that's just, you know, the thumbnail picture. And over here, these are the songs that are, um, the license is no attribution required. Okay. So let's click view details and see if it gives us something different. Okay, so it doesn't actually say anything different, but what no attribution means is that you do not have to give credit as to whom this information belongs to, the song, the name of the song, things like that. Okay, so um, if you hover over here, I don't know why they did not actually put this where you could just see it, but this is where you add a song in. Okay, so I'm gonna show you an example of how to do that. But first, the same thing as an audio library. If you click here, as you can see at the bottom, it says attribution required. So if you click on that, it will change to those songs on that list. But then again, you have to copy what you saw. And um, my thought process is, if you do that from here, then how do you copy and paste in what you saw? So you might add this in and then save everything, go to the audio library, search for the same song, and what I would do is I would start, and I don't think you can, let's see, let's hover. Okay, yes. So it looks like you cannot star the music from here. And this is where your starred music will be. Okay, and it shows that it came from the audio library. So what you would probably have to do, if you're going to do the attribution music, then I would probably... I would probably go to the audio library first. And you have to actually not be on the content page. So go to audio library first. Find the song and then click the star. And then also I would click on view details and copy this and go put it in. into the content back in details and then paste that there. Okay, so I think I would do that first and then I would go to editor because so far as I know, that still doesn't add it. I believe the only way you can add it is if you're here. Okay, so you would come back here to audio, click on the plus, and then like I said, whether it is attribution not required or attribution required then you would add it from here so let's just go from the top we're going to click add 
and then you have to give it a little bit of time to load. And while that's loading, okay, so down here, this is the actual song that you just added. So you have options. If you click on it, mix level is actually the volume. And you can change it all the way down to the lowest volume. If you want to, if you click on it and hold, you can move it to different parts of your video. If you, let's see, I think it has to load after you do that. So every time you make a change, it's going to have to load over here because it's making your changes as you go. Okay, so let me click this. And right here, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a double-sided arrow. If you move this, you can shorten the length of the song. Okay, so it does not have to be the whole song. And again, if you click and hold, you can move it to wherever you want. Just remember that it's going to take time to load after. Okay, so can you add more than two? Yes. So we'll just add the second one and then, I don't know, I guess that would be kind of unique if you had them playing like one behind the other, but um, from what you can see here, you actually can do that. I did not know that you could do that until I made this video, but same thing. You can take this and you can move it way over here, wait for it to load and that gives you time to decide what do you want to do. Okay, so... Do you want to keep it at the same volume? Um, I do not believe you can make it longer. No. Okay, but like I said, you can make it shorter. And then let's see. More actions. So we have license info and remove. Okay, so if we click on license info, then it will tell you. But as you saw, you can see the license info next to the song over here with these icons. Okay, so when you click the little lines, that is where you change the volume. And I thought, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's multiple little lines there. I thought that that was like you could change the different volumes in different parts of the song itself, but I don't think so. Okay, when I try to click on here, let's see, let's see what happens. So I'm going to change that to that, let it load up. And then I'm going to see if I can click on the middle or the bottom and see if it will just highlight that. No. Okay. So it's just the overall sound of the entire song. Okay. And as you can see, if you want to remove it, then you just click remove. And I'm going to remove both because I don't want to make changes to this video. And while it's loading, let's see if we can remove both of them. Okay, so they both removed. And now everything is back to normal. Okay, like I said, if you choose attribution required, same thing. You will click add. And then you can click add here. Click add there. Okay, so it looks like you can do at least three and they can actually sit in the same place. Now, um, one of the things that I'm going to point out is also down here, the play arrow. arrow. I don't know why I cannot say that word today. Um, that's the second time I've done that. But I um, guess this uh, arrow here, if you click on that, it will play the whole thing. Okay, all the changes you've made plus your video. And I am not yet quite sure if from here, from your studio, if you can change the volume of your actual video. Okay, so if there is a way to do that, let me know in the comments box below. But so far as I know, you can't do that. And I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Um, down here, this is video. And you can't click on it. Okay, so I think it's because you already uploaded a video from wherever you uploaded it from. Mine was from my phone. Okay, so that's it for the editor and for adding songs and placing them in different spots.
Okay, so I also talked to you guys about, so let's go back to the main list here. The earn. Yes, we're going to go to uh, short feed ads. Okay, so I'm going to click on this and um, it gives you the general information. Okay, so it says earn from ads and YouTube premium in the shorts feed. You can earn revenue from ads that run in between videos in the shorts feed, which is exactly what I told you guys in my workout video today. You can also earn revenue when a YouTube premium subscriber watches your content in the shorts feed. Now, if you click on learn more, okay, it takes you to this page and it has the information that I mentioned and then the rest of the information I told you um, to come and read. This is a very useful page. Okay, so as I stated earlier today, it says uh, revenue sharing on YouTube Shorts will begin on February 1st, 2023, which was literally just like, what, six days ago? Learn more about new changes to YouTube partner program terms. So you guys, they have new stuff. Like I said, they're always adding something new. But it says, let's see if any of that is the same information below. Okay, so I'll read it again. It, it might be a repeat. Starting February 1st, 2023, monetizing partners will be able to earn money from ads that are viewed between videos in the shorts feed. This new revenue sharing model will replace the YouTube shorts funds. Okay, and I think in my video earlier today, I called it the shorts ad fund, but it actually is called the shorts fund. And if you scroll down, it starts to give you, um, you know, the policies that apply and things like that. And then how to turn on your shorts ad revenue sharing. Okay, so it says shorts ad revenue sharing begins February 1st, 2023. To be eligible, monetizing partners will need to accept the shorts monetization module. Terms that let you earn from ads and YouTube premium in the shorts feed. If you accept the module after February 1st, 2023, shorts ad revenue sharing will apply to your channel's eligible shorts views starting on the date you accept. Shorts views accrued prior to accepting the shorts monetization module are not eligible for shorts ad revenue sharing. Okay, and then it goes into, as you can see, a suitable content for the ads and it just states all content monetizing with ads must follow our advertiser friendly content guidelines on shorts. Only views of content that follow our advertiser friendly guidelines will be eligible for revenue sharing. Okay, and then it goes into ineligible shorts. We won't get into that. And then it tells you revenue is shared on ads that are viewed between videos in the shorts feed. Shorts views exclusively receive ad revenue sharing from the shorts feed, which is separate from long form video monetization on the watch page. And then it goes down into how they share. Okay, so remember I talked to you guys earlier today about the pool. Okay, so you have pool shorts feed ad revenue. Each month revenue from ads running between videos in the shorts feed get added together and used to both reward creators and help cover costs of music licensing. Calculate the creator pool. Shorts feed ad revenue is then allocated into the creator pool based on views and music usage across shorts uploaded by monetizing creators. If a monetizing creator uploads a short without any music, all of the revenue associated with its views go into the creator pool. If a monetizing creator uploads a short with music in it, then YouTube will split the revenue associated with its views between the creator pool and music partners based on the number of tracks used. And it gives an example. For example, if a monetizing creator uploads a short with one track, half of the revenue associated with its views would be allocated to the creator pool 
and the other half used to cover the cost of music licensing. If the short features two music tracks, then one third of the revenue associated with its views would be allocated to the creator pool and the other two thirds used to cover the cost of music licensing. Allocate the creator pool. From the overall amount of the creator pool, revenue is distributed to monetizing creators based on their share of total views for monetizing creators shorts in every country. For example, if a creator gets 5% of all eligible shorts views uploaded by not monetizing creators, they'll be allocated 5% of the revenue in the creator pool. Apply revenue share. Monetizing creators will keep 45% of their allocated revenue regardless if music was used or not. And then it goes into what's not included in the creator pool. Okay, so like I said, this is a very interesting page. And then it shows you how shorts ad revenue sharing works. Okay, and it goes through the four steps. Okay, so then they go down and they give you more examples. Okay, so this is the page I was talking about and there are a lot of um, useful tips and information on here. And of course, there's other things that you can click on. Okay, because you want to keep in mind, you don't want to, um, I guess, I don't know how to say that. You don't want to go against, you know, the new changes of the requirements for the YouTube partner program terms, which they call a uh, YPP. Okay. So that's where you find out about this new thing they're doing with the shorts. And then I think that actually, let's see, is there anything else new over here? Um, I think I told you guys yesterday and the day before that earn now says monetize and we're still on the earn page. And then um, I'm not sure if you guys know about this, but just in case you are just barely starting on YouTube, um, I will go down here uh, to this part. Okay, so it says, how do I join? Okay, so reach requirements to apply. This is number one. 1,000 subscribers and one of the following. 4,000 watch hours. Remember I told you guys in the video today and a couple of days ago, and even yesterday, I think that it's an average. You have to reach 4,000 watch hours, okay, public watch hours within a year. If you don't, you start all over. I don't know if they will start your watch hours over or if they'll just start counting from, let's say you only made it to 3,200 watch hours. Okay, so I don't know if you keep those watch hours or if you literally start from scratch. That's the only thing I'm not sure about because I haven't reached that point and I'm not monetized. Okay, the other thing that you can do, and this is what I was talking about yesterday, and remember how I said that number was a ridiculously high number? Well, actually, you guys, it's not 1 million, it's 10 million public shorts views in the last 90 days. Okay, so if you don't reach 10 million in 90 days, I don't know what happens, but initially to be able to join, to start earning money, you would have to earn uh, or half, I should say 10 million, like I said, views. Okay, public views for your shorts in 90 days. So if the 90 days comes, I don't know if it starts all over again. And then number two was something new that got added that wasn't there when I first joined. So I think like a couple months in, it was complete the basics, two-step verification, and follow community guidelines. And then it tells you ineligible if you have active strikes. Okay, so active strikes, community guidelines strikes. Community guidelines strikes are issued when we find violations of our content policies. What affects your eligibility? Only active community guidelines strikes prevent you from applying warnings, Expired community guidelines strikes and copyright strikes do not impact your eligibility. What happens when you have an active strike? You need to wait for active community guidelines strikes to expire or be removed before you can apply for the YouTube partner program. Okay, so I'm not going to click on learn more. But that is pretty much the basic of everything that I talked about in the walk and talk of 
my 15440 video that I did earlier today on the treadmill. Okay, so um, yeah, just come in here and take your time, read whatever you can when you can, because it is a lot to be monetized. And I didn't even know over half this when I started. And my purpose still isn't to get, isn't to get monetized, but if I do, great. If I don't, that's fine. Um, I just enjoy making videos sometimes. I'm not going to lie. Not all the times. There's a lot of work that goes into it. I talked to you guys about that. But I believe that is it, you guys. And sorry for uh, any kind of feedback, lines, jumping, or anything you're seeing. Um, as you know, when you start to record with your phone, I don't know about a, a camcorder because I don't have one. We have a digital camera, but I've never even tried to record a screen from that to see what kind of feedback happens. So, you know, like I said, I can see you know, the screen kind of jumping a little bit and it's actually not too bad. So I'm actually, I'm trying to be careful because I'm pretty close to this tripod. But um, yeah, you guys have a great day. And um, if you have any questions, you can ask me or just follow along with my video, depending on what you want to learn about. And as it says, uh, the benefits of becoming a YouTube partner is there are many ways to earn. Okay, so um, the supers, I don't know if that's new. I see the thanks. I don't know if that's the same as the supers or if supers are going to come up or if they're going to start calling thanks supers. I'm not sure. Okay, so they have membership, shopping, all this other stuff, watch page ads, and that would be a whole nother video. I might have to actually read into that first. But um, like I said, you guys have a great day, and I hope that this was helpful. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and upload both of my videos that I made for today. So I'll upload the first video first. And then I'll upload this one because this is kind of like a, a, I guess, an addition to the video I made earlier. Okay, so you guys enjoy the rest of your day.